My name is Amina Ramadhani Haigai. Welcome so much to our YouTube channel and people here call me Mrs. Finance. We are so happy to bring for you this series that we started with the video one that explained step number one uh, about how to analyze your fi current financial situation. Please go and watch that video before you continue with this video. Today's video we're going to talk about step number two which is to analyze and understand what your money habits are as a result of your financial net worth. We calculated the financial net worth in step number one. And that number speaks something very important to you. They say numbers speak for themselves, and that is very true. If you critically analyze the number you got as your financial net worth, it will tell you what kind of an individual are you especially in regards to your money habits how do you spend your money you see how do you spend your money because your net worth if it was good it was bad it was high it was below all that depends with you as an individual and your habits that's why the net worth of two people cannot be the same when you take them they will always vary one might be high one might be low or they're almost like they're getting close but they're not the same because two individuals will not have the same habits when it comes to their finances they will always spend differently they will always earn differently they will always save differently so your numbers will tell you something that is unique to you in regard to your money habits so this step calls you to really look into your money habits how are you spending what type of a spender are you? Are you a big spender? And how much of your money goes to needs and how much of it goes to debts? How much of it goes to wants and how much of it goes to needs? You see, you need to understand that. What are the numbers saying about your behavior? Are you, you like spending so much on weekends? Even analyze your, your, your spending in terms of days. How you spend from Monday to Friday and how you spend from Saturday to Sunday and some they start from Friday. So how you spend from Monday to Thursday and how you spend from Friday to Sunday. You'll find there's a big difference. If you're a big spender and you like vibing during the weekend, eh? you like vibing. If you know you're like that, you, your habits will show in your net worth. So once you've analyzed all this, you've known about your, your bad habits, appreciate, don't deny, appreciate I'm like this. I know I spend a lot on Friday and Saturday. Maybe my, the big percent of, of my money goes to my bad habits. You know them if you have. Or maybe I spend more on, on, on wants than needs. Then appreciate that, accept that first, and then make a plan to change. Here is where we call on the big component of change. Because we have said we are starting a financial fit life. This life is different from the life you, you had before. So we are going into another life, which is going to require a new you. We are going to a new life, which is the financial freedom life. So that new life will demand a new you. And a new you will come from change. So you must be willing to change. And that change should not occur because I've said so. That change should come about because you want to change. Why? There is a bigger thing you want to achieve. Financial freedom. You see? Maybe you want some financial progress. Maybe you want to pay off your debt. You know why you want. So, change because it's you who have decided to change. Okay? And they say, like Jim Rohn says, that for things to change, you have to change. You are the a hundred percent responsible for the type of life that you lead so until when you're willing to change then everything else will fall into place so this step is basically analyzing your habits knowing the bad ones and be willing to change realizing and appreciating the good one and be ready to maintain them don't change and then from there i'm going to bring for you step number three but for this before i close may i ask you do you know what kind of a spender are you 
is you're spending different on weekends and during the weekdays. If so, what is your plan? How are you planning to change? Tell me if you've realized so far, what is holding you back? Maybe which behavior is taking a lot of your money or which habit that is not so good is taking out a lot of money from your pocket. If you don't mind, please share with me and then we will see how we're going to help you in that because we know this second step is also very important before going to the third one. When we change, we've known our net worth, now we are changing and then we go to step number three. I hope you, you, you will chat with me on the comment section and it's a promise I'm going to answer each one of you because I want to bring everyone along. We're leaving no one behind. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you again in the next one. Till then, bye.